STS-69 was a Space Shuttle Endeavour mission, and the second flight of the Wake Shield Facility WSF. The mission launched from Kennedy Space Center, Florida on 7 September 1995. It was the 100th successful manned NASA spaceflight, not including X-15 flights. Topic: Crew. Topic: Spacewalks. Voss and Gernhardt, Eva One. Eva 1 start the 16th of September 1995 to 8:20 coordinated universal time Eva 1 end the 16th of September 1995 to 15:06 coordinated universal time duration 6 hours 46 minutes topic mission highlights The 11-day mission was the second flight of the Wake Shield Facility WSF, a saucer-shaped satellite that was to fly free of the shuttle for several days. The purpose of the WSF was to grow thin films in a near-perfect vacuum created by the wake of the satellite as it moved through space. The crew also deployed and retrieved the Spartan 201 astronomy satellite, performed a six-hour spacewalk to test assembly techniques for the International Space Station and tested thermal improvements made to spacesuits used during spacewalks. The Spartan 201 free flyer made its third flight aboard the shuttle. The Spartan 201 mission was a scientific research effort aimed at the investigation of the interaction between the Sun and its outflowing wind of charged particles. Spartan's goal was to study the outer atmosphere of the Sun and its transition into the solar wind that constantly flows past the Earth. STS-69 saw the first flight of the International Extreme Ultraviolet Hitchhiker IEH-1, the first of five planned flights to measure and monitor long-term variations in the magnitude of absolute extreme ultraviolet EUV flux coming from the Sun, and to study EUV emissions from the plasma torus system around Jupiter originating from its moon Io. Also aboard Endeavour were the Combined Capillary Pump Loop 2, Gas Bridge Assembly CAPL2, GBA, payload. This experiment consisted of the CAPL2 hitchhiker payload designed as an in-orbit microgravity demonstration of a cooling system planned for the Earth Observing System program and the Thermal Energy Storage 2 payload, part of an effort to develop advanced energy generation techniques. Also a part of this payload were several getaway special gas experiments which investigated areas such as the interaction of spacecraft attitude and orbit control systems with spacecraft structures, fluid-filled beams as structural dampers in space and the effects of smoldering combustion in a long-term microgravity environment. Another payload flown with a connection to the development of the space station was the Electrolysis Performance Improvement Concept Study EPICS. Supply of oxygen and hydrogen by electrolyzing water in space plays an important role in meeting NASA's needs and goals for future space missions. Onboard generation of oxygen was expected to reduce the annual resupply requirement for the space station by approximately 5,400 kilograms (11,900 pounds). Other payloads aboard were the National Institutes of Health Cells 4 NIHC4 experiment that investigates bone loss during spaceflight, the biological research in canister 6 brick 6 that studies the gravity sensing mechanism within mammalian cells. Also flying were two commercial experiments. CMIX-4, whose objectives included analysis of cell change in microgravity along with studies of neuromuscular development disorders and the commercial generic bioprocessing apparatus 7 CGBA-7. CGBA was a secondary payload that served as an incubator and data collection point for experiments in pharmaceuticals testing and biomedicine, bioprocessing and biotechnology, agriculture and the environment. The Thermal Energy Storage TS2 experiment was also part of the CAPL-2, GBA-6. The TS-2 payload was designed to provide data for understanding the long-duration behavior of thermal energy storage fluoride salts that undergo repeated melting and freezing in microgravity. The TS-2 payload was designed to study the microgravity behavior of voids in lithium fluoride calcium fluoride eutectic, a thermal energy storage salt. Data from this experiment would validate a computer code called TESSIM, useful for the analysis of heat receivers in advanced solar dynamic power system designs. Topic: 
See also List of human spaceflights List of Space Shuttle missions Outline of Space Science Space Shuttle Topic. External links NASA Mission Summary STS-69 Video Highlights